conferência de imprensa com a Alina Corniva, a grande campeã do Figueira de Foz do Aris Open. Alina, congratulations. What a match from, from you. Your first thoughts after this win, please. Uh, thank you. Now I'm just happy about this tournament, about the result and about this final because I played really good. I uh, was concentration from the first to the last balls and this is helpful. Six love, six love. What do you think was the secret for, for you to, to win? Uh, sometimes when I played I thought like if I missed uh, three balls in a row she started to play better and better so this is was the key that uh, I had to play every ball without any emotions and uh, don't miss a lot to, um, to don't like uh, to don't uh, do like she will play better if you understand what I mean yeah, yeah. so this is was the key I, I, keep, I think you, you will consider this match the best of the week for you <laughs> Did, did you ever play the flawless match like this before in your career? At least an important match like this? 6 0, 6 0, I think no. Against a good player, no. I think it's the first time. Of course, I had 6 0, 6 0, but it was like when I played tennis, junior, uh, Europe, uh, and uh, in the first round, like this. You're, you're incredibly competitive. You want to win every single point. It shows your after each, yeah. each point. Your, why are you so competitive? Do you is that because your family was competitive? Is it in yourself? How do you explain that competitiveness that you have? Um, I think yes. The first one it's because of my family because I have a sports family and uh, sometimes it's uh, really help me and. Uh, just because I want to to play tennis the whole my life, to enjoy the whole life and to win a lot. And uh, I know that uh, to win uh, tournaments and Grand Slam, I had to play every tournament on the high level, try to play on high level. Of course, it's uh, so difficult, but I have to try every time. I should have done my own work, but I don't know. Your family, you mentioned your family was in sports. So, which what kind of sports were what? The volleyball. My uh, parents, uh, my father, professional volleyball player, uh, he has a uh, number three in Olympic Games. Uh, my uh, grandparents from father's side, professional volleyball player. My mom tried to play volleyball, now my uh, brother, professional volleyball player. <laughs> so, I don't know why I play tennis, but... <laughs> But did you try volleyball? Um, no, just like uh, at home, at, in the house, like for enjoying when we had the holidays and that's all. Yeah. When I played, I, one time I played in the school, when I uh, went to the school, uh, I played the um, I don't know, like the tournament uh, for, of the schools, and uh, I played. I think uh, the whole points uh, alone. <laughs> you know, I played really good. <laughs> you have an incredible line of, of Russian champions in the past decades. For instance, Yevgeny Kafelnikov and Marat Safin. They won tournament here in Portugal. Uh, but it was a little bit before your generation. Uh. <laughs> uh, and now we have an incredible array of uh, you know, ladies champions, uh, and now also men. What, which was the player that you looked up to uh, growing up, Russian players or in, also international? Serena Williams. And uh, how I said, uh, Rafa Nadal every time, and now Djokovic. Okay, and Russian players? Any favorites? Um, now I would I love to watch uh, just watch the Pavlichenko, uh, Sabalenka, and uh, Rybakina, but it's not like my favorite players. Okay. And the rest, uh, I love the uh, three boys: uh, Rublev, uh, yes, right. Andre, Daniel, and Sometimes Karen. Sometimes your backhand reminds me of Daniel's. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the way you use your yeah. hands. Yeah. So. That's nice. <laughs> You save a match point in the first round. <laughs> Did you imagine to win a title a couple of days after the, that match? Yes, because I had already this, um, uh, these things. Uh, when I played in Africa, 
I lost the first tournament, then I came to the uh, another one, the bigger one, and um, I had, I think my opponent had a match ball in the qualifying, and then I won the tournament, <laughs> so yes, <laughs> probably I thought about this, yeah. The same story? Also because you played in Porto last week? Yes, yes. The same Did you imagine yes. when you arrive in Portugal that we will be in the US Open qualifying? Uh, <laughs> probably no. no. <laughs> I didn't know. How, how do you rate this win uh, comparing it to the junior grandstand titles that you have? Does it, does it feel different? Does it feel the same? Uh, uh, you mean when I won this title and when the juniors? Yeah, comparing um, to, to the juniors. When I uh, when I won the final in the junior Grand Slam, of course I had the, another emotional because it's Grand Slam. It's grand slam. Doesn't matter it's junior or uh, exactly. professional. Yeah. Uh, here when I won, it's just a normal tournament. I'm really <laughs> happy, of course, but feeling really different, and I really feel this difference. And um, not the finals, just the tournaments. Yes, every time I feel, I feel, I feel the difference. And uh, how I said, it's um, about the important uh, points, important uh, moments when the juniors can just uh, boom. I think in, uh, on another court, <laughs> the ball, and here and the girls couldn't do it. So you you already have a head wrench team around you, can you talk a little bit to who, which one is your, uh, is who, 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 what do they do specifically, how, how big is your entourage? Uh, here I have uh, my mother and my coach, Bikesh uh, Nikolina and in Moscow I have of, of course family, big family, big support, uh, the biggest one, and uh, my uh, another coach, Andrei Vadimich Savin. I was with uh, him in uh, Roland Garros when I played uh, and I have uh, two fitness coach Osipov and Kutikova, so this is my team. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're based in, in, in Moscow, Moscow. Mm -hmm. uh, did you ever think about establishing yourself in another country, like except uh, some of your uh, uh, countrymen mm -hmm. are, like Bulev, Daniel? Of course, now it's really difficult to fly from Moscow to another country, but uh, we try to fly for the month for some tournaments and then come back to Moscow. I tried the Rafa Nadal Academia, but um, probably we, not probably, um, I tried, uh, but uh, we prefer to stay at home with my coaches and yeah. Did you have your visa already? No, I don't have. I will not play you so often. <laughs> no. You will not? No, I will not play. Like, I had to do the visa, I think, in June uh, to play. Now it's too late. Oh. But uh, it's okay. It's not oh. my last year so often, so. What a shame. Yeah. Oh. Well, because it was your secret goal as you. Yes, how I said to you. <laughs> Before this tournament, I thought that it's uh, probably. Uh, I, I can't. I, go to the quali because I uh, lost some tournaments um, in the first or second rounds uh, but now when I won you said it to me when oh, we had the sorry for that. Yes, I was like really? <laughs> really? <laughs> so you, you didn't know if you if, I no? didn't know you didn't either. know before the match? no 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 I didn't know <laughs> maybe that's a good one if I if I knew <laughs> about you, this you it's to tell your team hey, you should yes <laughs> but are, are you sad about that or no Maybe, um, I had the same problem uh, in the juniors uh, because I uh, could play the last year junior grand slams but I couldn't because of the visa of the vac vac vaccination but it's okay this year I played so and the second it's not my last one so it's, it's okay. So now you need to start preparing the one for Australia. Yes. The visa. <laughs> <laughs> the visa yeah. But this also means that you didn't believe you could achieve the, that goal to, to be in the US Open? Here yeah, already, no. <laughs> yeah, but even before you didn't believe that? Oh no, what I said after the Roland Garros, of course I believe in this, yes. but uh, yeah. before this tournament I already didn't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> yeah, the, the last 
the last uh, Russian prodigy that we saw in Portugal was Diana Schneider, and we never we never saw her again because she she <laughs> climbed in the rankings. Do you think we gonna see you again in the future in Portugal? Oh, I don't know <laughs> if you, if you will have a good WTA <laughs> time. Yeah, we have a good time. Yes, maybe. Yeah. maybe. <laughs> Thank you okay. so much. Thank you Thanks so much. So much. Congratulations. Thanks.